so we got the return of Rick reuniting with his wife, reuniting with his son. That was great to see. And reuniting with Shane, his old buddy. You know, um, there's a lot of tension going on. I would I would have liked to see the interact the um the interaction between um would have loved to see the interaction um between Shane and and Rick a little bit more, but we didn't get to see any of that as more of that. I'm I'm trying to get why his wife is so upset with Shane when she was involved in the act also like why she kind of push him away i'm wondering if there's something that i missed um did shane didn't go back to look for rick or something i, I don't know what it is but whatever the situation is i mean it's it's very obvious that something is going on there that i didn't understand as you can see from my face during that part of the part of that dialogue that they had that little conversation where she's like stay away from my family stay away from my son like i didn't get why she was so upset so the whole thing deciding to go back for for um what's his name um merle right um along with his brother was pretty neat that he's trying to go back and rescue them to get that walkie talkie back because because of um the guy that he met with his son that saved them um in that first episode which is you know that was pretty cool of rick to decide to go back and do that so as you can see guys i'm very excited about this show there wasn't too much about this episode that i can like dive deep into it's just was more of the reunion was the biggest thing in this episode the most interesting thing um them going back and also out of the episode ended with finding out that Merle cut his hand off to get away um to get out um so i don't know where he where he is right now that's kind of strange like where is he is he bleeding out somewhere what's the situation you know he cut his own hand off um i guess he felt like he didn't have the time to cut the actual um handcuffs I mean that's that's just terrible. Uh, you know he coming back for vengeance, right? You know he's coming back for vengeance. So that's not even that you know that's not even a, a a question if he's coming back for vengeance. As I can say, he seems like that type of guy where he's gonna be like, I'm gonna kill Rick. He tied me. I'm gonna kill the black dude too. So he seems like that kind of guy to me. His brother is crazy also. So um. Hopefully that works out for them. Okay, so not a long review here for this episode because there's nothing much to talk. I didn't like. I, I wish Shane did the right thing by beating up um, dude that hit his his wife. Man, that I hate dudes that do that. And then you're telling them, oh, they need to, um, they need to do what they're supposed to do and all this other stuff. Yeah, they're doing it. So. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so obvious that he hits her. And it's always pains me to see the woman in the situ in the situation where she's getting beaten. She's being abused. And she's and she's she sees him getting beat up. And she's like, don't hit him. Don't hit. Why, why is it? Why does that happen? Is it is it a psychological thing? Maybe it is. Maybe it is a psychological thing that they go through that. That's why something like that happens. You know what I'm saying? So. They need help. They need help. And I'm glad that Shane put him in his place and let him know if she gets hit again, I'm going to beat your ass to death. Okay? So that was pretty cool. Um, Rick is my favorite character right now because it's not that he doesn't necessarily have a hero complex. Because when you say somebody has a hero complex, that simply means that they put themselves in unnecessary situations with no real reason behind it you get what i'm saying it's just oh that guy needs saving i'm gonna go save him why are you gonna put yourself in that situation? i don't know i just feel like i need to save the guy you know that's hero complex but he has big reasons for it um 
other than the fact that he says that man we can't leave somebody to die it's the living against the dead um if he's still alive let's go get him um the black guy did the right thing by putting that chain on the door and locking the door let the walkers not get to him but at the same time it was very you know there were so many things he could have done in that situation other than that but at least he, 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 he you know he thought ahead and said man if we have to come back for this guy at least we'll know he'll he's safe so that was pretty cool um but the main reason why rick wants to go back is because of that walkie talkie that he left with the guns um shane still didn't go i i don't understand why he doesn't go like you are the leader of the base camp like shouldn't you be i, I don't know I'm, I'm trying to understand this character so i guess i'll get there eventually but um as you can see guys this episode was a lot more about the reunion more than anything else and they've gone back to the city to go get merle and they didn't find him he cut his hand off got out of handcuffs so i'm guessing they're gonna go look for the guns and maybe they'll end up seeing merle I'm like i said merlin merle okay so that so episode was was really good it was really good i'm enjoying the show so far the 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 lore be the lore behind it i'm getting used to learning the new things learning the characters so so far so good very good um so it's the first time watching one of my reviews of course leave a like on the channel and also comment on the video let me know what you think of the episode remember to go to the link if you want to watch my full reaction you didn't watch it you want to watch my full reaction link is down in the description subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell so you know when the next walking dead episode is out okay so thank you guys for watching you already know it's your boy terabyte reacts and peace